Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to pick up where we left off last time building upon conditional statements. So we're going to jump right in and we are going to be using our script because like I said we're going to be getting more sophisticated and it's just easier to build upon this and when you get to making pretty complicated programs the shell is actually just there, a basic shell and um, you can use it to test things but you really want to do all this stuff in script. So alright, let's just get started. And to remind you, open up the script by opening up your shell and going to file, new file, and going from there. But alright, let's just get started. I have, I have uh, videos on that, you can look at that. So alright, if 5 less than 8 print yes. So let's just run this. And to remind you, you run it you can either click here, go down to run module, or as you can just see right here, you just hit the F5 key, but your but your cursor has to be in the window. So all right, yes. Now, what happens if we change this to a greater than? So we run this, nothing happens right here because this condition is not met. This condition is not true. This condition is false. So now let's learn. All right, let's look at this. Let's let's go real slow with this. So, all right, the cursor is here. I'm going to hit enter one time. It comes down. Like I said, Python keeps up with indentations, not tabs, indentations. Because if you get into tabs and spacings, you're going to get all kinds of mixed errors. So you can trust me on it, or you can experiment with it and. Uh, learn the way I <laughs> I had to and I had to learn the hard way so alright I'm just gonna watch the cursor I'm gonna hit the backspace one time it jumps back that indentation so now if this is true do this now there's a keyword just to remind you guys so alright purple is a function and if it's a function it needs parentheses if it's yellow or orange, however you want to say it, maybe I'm colorblind, but that looks orange to me. Orange is a keyword in Python. Now, here's a new keyword. This is uh, this is called else. So if this is not met, excuse me, if this is met, do this. Else, do this. This can be the catch-all, but we'll build upon these. So if, or the way that I say it, if this is not met or false. However, however you need to think about it. So all right, let's run this. So if this is true, do this, else do this. So that's how we built this, and this is why no comes out. Get that back over there. All right, so now let's remember how to do this. All right. So we're going to block this out. We're going to comment this code out. So you can do this one of two ways. You can do Alt 3, highlight the code that you want to block out. Or if you can't remember that, you come up here to Format, and you have your nice little reminder. Comment out region. Just means whatever you highlighted. And it's going to have the reminder right here for you, Alt 3. So, all right. So now, now let's build something all right so all right actually how about we stop there and we'll we'll pick up on this next time so we can break this up into smaller videos hope you guys are getting something out of this thanks for watching see you next time